the fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. If I had drugs to take, don't you think... I'd share? How about it, Mom? You want to get blasted with your favorite photographer? Honestly, Safia, you act like I was born into this world old. I had my wild years. Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked, too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Publisher? I've been shopping a collection around for a while, and someone made me a deal. Awesome, Sophie. That's phenomenal. Was this your big secret? You didn't tell her? I thought she'd have been the first. I didn't want to jinx it. Aren't you always telling me not to tempt the universe? I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job, like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Glad we did this. This? This lunch. I do it every weekend. I know. 
That's nice. December 6th. So, it's the same day here. I didn't go back in time. Something else is happening. This truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? Do you like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh sweet, another newbie. Hope you come. really are the worst lines I've seen. <laughs> Wherever I am, looks like beer still exists. Unfortunate. Right, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so there's an Amanda. Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked is all. Oh, so... So I asked you out. I mean, that's... How I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Oh shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Safi isn't dead. So, are you gonna tell me what happened? Shit. I was working. I get total runaway train tunnel vision sometimes. I'm so sorry. Huh. The old I'm a serious artist excuse. I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? Okay, I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming and whatever caused it. You mean entirely closed off? Yeah, there's police tape around it and everything. Didn't the nebula close down like a decade ago? Yeah, but people... Yep, this is definitely the source of the hum and my nosebleed. Let's poke it with a stick. Holy shit. I'm... I'm back, aren't I? In... Dead World. This is so fucking crazy.
How could Vin mix me up with Safi? Max, you're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? Yeah, everything's fine. At least as fine as it was the last time I saw you. Yeah, so not fine at all, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Oh. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh... I understand. No Christmas decorations on this side. No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. I hate Only... that they canceled Krampus for one I know dead you. student. If you send Jesus me a gift, Christ, it means bro. you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You'd love them. Right. Next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. I mean it. I'll be back. Babe. Whoa. Am I hearing stuff from that other world? I didn't see Moses in the Snapping Turtle, though. This makes no sense. That's the way back across. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. I still can't believe Safi is here. 
alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. I swear, one day I'll get a candid of Safi. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <sighs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safia. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max. You know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rathi. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would be a bald-faced lie, right? I challenge you. I challenge anyone on this campus to devise... It's okay, Rafi. She's the Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Never ever. I have been cursed by a witch. I see. Does true love's first kiss break the spell? I don't know. I di didn't think the joke that far ahead. <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. <laughs> Our only skull, in fact, I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. Huh. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything... suspicious? I mean... The Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. And I can't have one fight.
maybe there isn't. Look forward to seeing you there. I feel like I'm paralyzed. I'm the more I think about it, the more I realize how comfortable Yasmin has gotten in her. I guess that prankster hasn't been back. Bet Amanda's glad. She made a lot of moves and a lot of headlines when she started, and then cricket. The skull's missing here, but maybe the turtle in Dead World still ha Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. Oofa doofa, that's gonna take some getting used to. There she is, safe and sound. Fuck, size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Moses in our lab all I know I saw a stepladder. My memory's not that bad, so where is it? Does Moses think you No Christmas decorations on this side. Yeesh. The stepladder's in the other world. That should help me reach the cow skull. That's the way back across.
Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. Shit. Do we really need to run up in Vermont? I told you it can't be inside. That hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh, yeah. Could I grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. You're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that they're gonna talk about it with me standing here. It's way too cold to be out here, but I'm pretty sure if they brought those dart guns inside, Amanda would kill them. I should use my power to look in on them. From Dead World. Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Safia. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to Dead World. That's the way back across. Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. What is going on? What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the Skull Rustler, save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. 
I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just going to out themselves. Now, if I were a bovine vandal, where would I... There's Vin. If it was a Braxis that stole the cow skull, they might have done it on Vin's orders. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable? Never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patience. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? That person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. Sophie told me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. Glad I actually get to see that here. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? The snapping turtle looking for volunteers at the Lakeport Soup Kitchen? Amanda really is the best.
Oh, come on. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. Men, what's stopping you from dressing like this? Art student prank or horrifying creature, the world may never know. So, how do you keep things fresh after literal decades of passionate embracing? Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. Why are they focused on you? <laughs> Vin's shook. I'm an actual threat to his reign, and he can't abide competition. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. Like an ex Phil. They have our man and he knows too much. Hey, shh. Huh? Oh. Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for, and I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying. I should them see what those Abraxas me. goons are up to. What did Vin put these guys up to? Vin seems... Hope that's just coffee. Hi, Mama. 
Can you hear me okay? I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Alexa. Max. <sighs> Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine, I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Sophie, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. That's ludicrous. Yes, I was a shitty father in the past, but I've never intentionally this crime involved a biohazard? One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice. Jeez, Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad, I've got questions. Going to the Nationals. Your grandfather would have been proud, Robbie. Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. Maybe I was a little rough earlier. With everything going on, I just... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? 
can't say I have. Huh. Yeah, I might have to reposition it then. The standards for the expo really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? Years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what could I use to do some permanent damage? Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's? K.O. Your winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Max Caulfield! Oh my goodness, who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody really busted up your face on the book expo, Standee. Are you serious? I just put that, come on. Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid market. Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car, so who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. Lucas was with his agent no point last in night. looking through Lucas's stuff. Not the snapping turtle. Satisfying. He couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car. So. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Sophie?
Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it... It, it makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention? No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean... Where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Wait. Why would Robbie trust Safi? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Safi's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but just give me a chance to get this shit in order first, without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? You're right. I have no reason to believe you over her. You're not as good of a person as you like to pretend, Caulfield. Maybe you and Safi deserve each other. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Should try Gwen's office next. <laughs>